moved to uh, New Jersey in 2020, which just uh, before COVID happened. It's because my husband's job's relocation. I come along with him like a spouse. <laughs> just after we moved here, COVID happened. I'm under super high pressure. I don't know what my identity is, and a lot of anxiety about uh, what will happen tomorrow. When I was about 17, and they had told me that I probably had depression and anxiety since I was 11, it felt like I could never reach up to my potential, and I felt like I was disappointing everyone in my life. Um, so I started going into this studio July of 2021. Things were changing in my brain. It was like my mindset was shifting so quickly. It's helped me heal a lot of childhood trauma as well. To understand that like, I can be myself and I can be as much of that child as I want as an adult. I have learned here is this idea of non-duality, seeing divinity in all beings. I have grown up in a religion that is monotheistic from the Christian descent. And we understand in that religion that God and I are separate beings. Learning about this idea of divinity in each being, it's been such a profound and different principle to explore. This yoga teacher training is only the beginning of my own spiritual journey. And I hope that eventually I'll be able to meaningfully contribute to others' journey as well as my own. If I could provide just like an ounce of what my teachers have given me, I would, I feel like, I feel like that would be like life changing to me as well because I'm able to pass it on to them. My mind is always try to learn new things, try to explore a new world, trying to build my inner worlds with the seeds of always learning and to keep a positive mind with my life and bring positive energy to other people. I am not the body, I am not the mind, but I have a mind and I have a body. And I can use those to think about my thoughts, words, and actions, and act in some small way toward the happiness and freedom for all. Mm -hmm.